Hey, Anna. How are you? Hope you're having a good um, Friday morning. So as promised, what I'm going to do today, I'm just going to create a short video about um, simplifying exponents or properties of exponents. Okay. And as you can see, I'm in Ms. Moranchik's um, Algebra 1 Period 2 class, which is your class. So I'm actually going to scroll down to... Um, this assignment here, okay, um, it was this one, this one that said more review for test on the properties of exponents, okay. So I'm actually just going to click on it because I'm actually a student in this class, um, similar to all, obviously similar to all the other students that are in this class. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to um, do this work as if I were a student in this class. So. I'm going to open up the assignment. Okay, now you could do it a different way. You can take this, you can um, print it out if that makes more sense to you, or you can figure out a way to write these problems. What I would do is I would take maybe a Google Doc and write out, you know, number one and the the problem, number two, three, and stuff like that, and then take a picture of this. Um, take a picture of your handwriting on, you know, with pencil and paper, and then submit that um, as the, as the um, answers for you. Okay. So I'm actually going to open this. I'm going to open this with a different uh, app. It's called Kami. And with the Kami app, I'm actually going to just write on the screen here. Okay. So, here we go. Let me zoom in a little bit. So anyway, like I was saying, this is a properties of exponents um, assignment. Okay, this is the review for the test, as it says at the top. Okay, and it's actually pretty simple. So I'm just going to go through it and you know do my best to explain what I'm doing. So when you have exponents like this, when you have uh, for number one, let's look at number one first. Okay, so you have w to the sixth times w to the first power. There's there's a one here times w squared. Okay, you're actually just going to combine those. So it's going to be six plus one plus two. Okay, so six plus one plus two is six plus one is seven plus two is nine. So we're going to have w to the ninth. And that's actually the answer to that problem. Okay, let's go down to number two. When you have a problem like this, okay, um, and you have exponents on the top and the bottom of basically a division problem, okay, you're actually just going to subtract them. So you're going to do, you're going to do the ones that are with the a's, which is se so you're going to do seven minus two, okay, equals five, okay, and then you also have b the b's, which is three minus seven. Okay, and that's going to equal negative four. Now, if you have a negative exponent, that's just going to be on the bottom. So you're going to have a to the fifth because that's your a's. So a to the fifth, and then you're going to have b to the fourth. Okay, you know b to the fourth on the bottom there, and that's what that's going to look like. Okay. Um, number three, so you're going to distribute this exponent here, okay? So, I'm sorry, that should go to the to the F. So you're just going to distribute that. You're going to have four. Squared, right? And you're going to bring that seven. You're going to multiply that seven times two. So you're going to have four squared, which is four times four, which is... Um, 16 and the 4 times 2 is 14 so you're going to have a 16 f m 16 f to the 14th power okay that's number three number four is kind of a trick question okay as soon as i see it i can see that um i can see that my i have an exponent out here which is a zero. So anything raised to anything raised to a zero power is one. 
So the answer is actually just going to be 1. I could do it all out for you and do negative 5 to the 0, which equals 1, right? Um, x, 5 times 0 is 0, so x to the 0 equals 1. Y, um, <clears throat> y to the, oh, hold on, sorry. Y to the 0, right? Because negative 3 times 0, okay? Negative 3 times 0 is 0. Um, so that's one. So you do, you know, then you'd have one times one times one equals one, um, which is our answer. Okay. And that's pretty simple. Number five, here we go. We have negative six, negative six, a to the eighth, b to the first. Remember there's a one here. I know it doesn't, we don't, can't see it, but it's still there. Okay. Three a squared b to the fifth. Um, we're going to do negative six times three. So that's negative 18. And like I said before, you just add up the exponents, add up the like exponents to the variables, right? So you have a, you have an a here and an a here. So you're going to do eight, um, eight plus two, which is a to the 10th. And then you have uh, one, we have b here, b here. You have one plus five, which is b to the sixth, okay? All right, uh, number six, here we go. We have, so this is a division problem. So basically, you just have negative 15 here divided by three, which is negative five, okay? And because that's a number, it's not an exponent. <coughs> um, let me circle, uh, square this. Because that's a number and it's not an exponent, we're just gonna keep it right where it is, okay? So now this goes away, this goes away. So we're just gonna do the exponent. So you got m to the fourth over m to the eighth. Well, because 4 minus 8 equals negative 4, okay, um, that m to the 4th, let's undo that because that looks bad, okay, that m to the 4th is just on the bottom, um, and then you have n to the 9th or, over n to the 11th, so we have 9 minus 11, which is negative 2. And that, so that N is going to be on the bottom, which is 2, okay, um, because that's a negative, okay? So, so like, I said, bef like I said before, you keep, you keep the, the number, okay, um, up on the top because it's just a number, all right? But if it's a variable, you want to have the if – it's, if it's a variable, you want to – I mean, not a variable. If it's an exponent, um, you're going to keep it on the bottom uh, if it's a negative, okay? All right, so four, and let's look at number seven, okay? Um, we have four times negative two, so let's do that, and that's gonna be, oh, come on, man. Um, undo. Okay. Uh, get my zoom in right, okay? Okay, whatever. Um, so here we go. We have negative, uh, we have four, we have four times negative two, which is right here. You're just going to do, um, oh my God, why does it zoom in? We're going to do negative, negative eight. Okay. And then your M, okay. You're going to, I mean the, your X one is negative four plus seven, right? Because it's a, it's a positive seven. So you put, um, negative four plus seven equals three. So your M is actually going to be on the top here. Okay. M to the third. Oh my God, bro. Stop it with the zooming. Okay. M to the third. Okay. And then number eight, <clears throat> let's take a look at number eight. We have negative, we have 32 divided by negative eight. Okay. Um, so that is uh, negative four. We have an X to the fifth, um, X to the fifth minus X to the third, which is going to be X squared. We have a 12 for y minus a 9 for y, so that's going to be y to the third. 
and then you have a z to the one divided by z to the seventh, which is going to be one minus seven, which is z to the negative six. But if we put it on the bottom, okay, if we put it on the bottom, then that'll take care of that. All right, here we go. This is going to be interesting one here. Okay, so we have. Um, Okay, we do, we're going to have to distribute this three here, okay? So three, so first of all, negative three times negative three times negative three equals negative 27. So that's going to be over here, negative 27, okay? Um, three times three, now we got to do the times the eight, so that's M to the 24, n is to the negative 4, um, which is negative 12, okay? <clears throat> All right. So actually, I'm only actually probably going to do a couple more. Um, oh, shoot. Let me pause this. Let's see if, what I can do. All right, and I'm back, although to you, it was probably definitely no difference. All right, here we go. So I'm actually just going to do 10 and 11, and then I'm going to have, let you kind of, you know, basically do the rest of this here. Okay. So um, this number 10, we have the negative 7, A to the fourth beats B to the third times the stuff in parentheses. So we actually have to do the work in the parentheses first because that whole thing is raised to the third power here, okay? So you're going to do, I'm just going to copy this down, 7A to the fourth, B to the third times, and then we got to distribute this, okay? So B, to, I'm 2 to the third power, 2 times 2 times 2, so we have 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8, okay? So that's going to be 8 here. That's time, sorry. Um, 8 and then A to the third, B times B to the negative 8 to the third is B now to the negative 24. Okay. So then we're going to multiply these two things. We have a negative 7 times a, times a positive 8, which is a negative No, oh, hold on. Um, negative 56. A to the fourth times A to the third. You just add them there. Okay. A to the seventh. B to the third. B to the third times B to the 24th. You just add them there. So that's actually three plus negative 24, which is B to the negative 21. But like I said before, because that can't be in the top there, we're going to have to, have to bring that down to the bottom. Okay, this B, this whole B term is have to, you have to go to the, down to the bottom. So we have negative 56A to the 7th, B to the 21st power. Okay. And that's the answer to that one. Okay. Um, here we go. So we have the next one, number 11, okay? We have 12x to the 12th divided by 3x to the third. So we have 12 divided by 3, which is we do, we're going to do this part, okay, of the equation first, okay? And then we'll, then we'll worry about this part. Um, so let's do 12 divided by 3. So we have 12 divided by 3, oh, hold on, which is 4. I don't know how my hand put it here. Um, so we have four, okay? And we're gonna have x, 12 minus three is nine. Y, ne um, y to the negative eight divide, uh, divided by y to the fourth. So we have negative eight minus four 
Don't get that confused there, okay? So negative 8 minus 4 is y to the negative 12 times, and like I said, we're not going to do anything with this next term, x to the 10th, y to the negative 2, okay? So that's great. Um, now we can just do this out. Here we go. Okay. So we have 4 times 5, which is 20, okay? x to the 9th and then x to the 10th, we're just going to add those. So that's x to the 19th. And then we have y, right? y, negative 12 plus negative 2 is actually negative 14, okay? Once again, we have to take that y value and put it down to the bottom. So we're going to have 20 x to the 19th over y to the 14th, okay? So there we go, all right? And that's how that goes. Um, that's the end of this video, okay? Like I said, please, Anna, please make sure that you are showing your work for these problems. Oh, what happened here? Um, looks like this one didn't stay. I don't know if I erased it. What happened? So, um, I don't know what happened here. Oh, number seven. Oh, this one didn't finish. So let's do this. We have negative 27m to the 24th over n to the 12th. Okay. Um, that one happened. Okay. 4, negative 8. Uh, oh. Oh, that's actually the, the answer, isn't it? Negative 4 plus 7 is negative 3. So that's, yeah, that's the answer there. Plus the little minus. I don't know. I don't know what's happening there. All right. Yeah, you could do these last four problems there and, you know, try some stuff out. And like I said, make sure when you submit this to show all of your work. Okay? Show all of your work. All right. Hopefully this works out for you. I actually have another video as well that I will send you to.